You know, it's funny because by now you're watching this video and I already have a title for the creature. But as of for me right now, I actually have no idea what kind of creature I'm going to make. So, that's the fun part, right? Whoops, I like 640. Let's get going. Let's make that background white. I'll use that for checking for mistakes later. I'll hide it for now. Okay, switch it to black. That's what we got right here, good. We select the pencil, we go down to four, and we start drawing. And I'm using, holding down left shift, which gives me the straight lines. And then I have the square here and I can decide which way the angles go. I think I'm gonna make it go this way. Since it's Minecraft, there's a lot of squares. Is that rude to say that Minecraft has a lot of squares? No. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, huh. 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 Wonder. Yeah, I got an idea. Nice thing about this is you don't have to be exact. I actually learned that trying to make lines exact, make them perfect actually makes it feel less artistic. So I'm actually going to do what kind of looks like an Enderman. So maybe I'll put these down lower. Oops. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Where should we make the body go? Let's make it go like this. Let me think. Yeah, because it's going that way, which means that it go like this. Kind of weird looking, isn't it? I'm gonna use the lasso tool to erase this one. You can erase it however you want. Delete. Ah, oh, huh. I think I know what this is gonna be called now. I think I'm gonna call it the Crooked Enderman. Might change that name here soon, but that's what I have in mind so far. Figure out the legs. I'll make the other leg come from right here. Sure. 
Yeah, I love that lasso tool. On the keyboard, I'm just hitting delete as I select these. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, now we got this. Just let me get that deleted. <laughs> That's a strange looking Enderman, isn't it? Okay. Now let's color this thing. I'm gonna color it for you guys, but after I'm done, I always turn it to grayscale. Because since I use these in my novels, the books I write, um, I don't use color. Cheaper not to use color, and so I turn it to grayscale. But for now, we're gonna do color. Should we do the green eyes or the purple eyes? Let's do the purple eyes. And just use your fill color. And we're gonna use almost black. I find it's better to not use exact black. Use close to black, but never use exact black. See, look at all those other problems there. That's okay. That's okay. Whoops. I'll have to just fill it in this way. Okay, now we're going to actually use slightly brighter. For some of these surfaces are higher up. Okay. Again, we got a lot of fixing to do. And those up here because I have my eraser and because of the lasso I used. If I used this circle right here, I probably wouldn't have to do it. I don't know why I'm not doing it. it shows you how lazy I am. It also shows you how doable this is. If you don't have a whole lot of skills, you can just make these anyways. Just continue to get these filled in and get them all fixed up nice. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Well, it's just about done, but let's throw up the white background. Oh, right away we can see a hole right in there. Yep, looks like we missed one. Any more? I don't see any more. Okay, we can turn it back off again. Now we use our crop tool. And the reason why I use that is because I like to have as little space on the edges as possible so that when I insert this into the book, oftentimes right next to text, it's as close to the text as I can get, allowing me to make the image a little bit bigger in the book, which looks better. And there we have it. It's cropped, and that's the way it'll look for you guys. Now for me, of course, I'm going to go colors, hue, saturation, and take out the saturation so it's all black and white. Got to for my books. And that's what we have. We call this... What did I say I was going to call it? I don't know. We'll call it like... Well, i got to save it right here, right? We'll call it Awkward Enderman. Let's just do Awkward Enderman instead. Yep, I changed the name. That's right. Awkward Enderman. Okay, there we have it, the awkward Enderman.